Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to finish the last of our videos on decorating wrapping paper. We've already done embossing using pens that fit in our Explore machines, that includes the Airs and our Maker as well. We've looked at drawing and pens and today we're going to use the Cricut foil system. So I'm going to go to images and I'm just going to search for snow globe. And we're going to do this one today. So I don't want it all one colour of foil. I want it a few different colours. So I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate it four times. And I'm just going to highlight all four duplicates. Align and centre. And in fact I'm going to add a fifth one in as well. Just in case. And then align and centre all of them together. Actually, so I need to change each of my layers to foil. So I'm going to get the first one and I'm going to change the line type to foil. Let's do medium. And that's currently set to gold. I'm going to change it to let's go with a, oh, I don't know. Let's go with an emerald. And then I'm going to do the next layer. So I'm going to change that to a medium foil. And I'm going to change the colour to red. I'm going to do exactly the same with the next one. So foil, medium, and the colour is going to be aqua. Again, foil, medium, and let's do a silver. The other three, I'm just going to hide those for a moment because I don't know if I'm going to use them. So we're going to concentrate on these five layers. So I'm going to hide all of them except for one. So that's my rose gold. So I'm going to select that layer and I'm going to go to contour. And your contour will always come in, in the middle of your screen. So if you want to see what's going on in the background, ideally you want to move your image over here. You can of course zoom in and out. I'm going to hide all contours because I just find it quicker to take everything away and then just add back in what I want. It will always leave the top contour though. So if you don't want that in that colour, you do need to remember to take it away. I can bring back my next layer. And again, I can contour and we can hide all contours. And then we can bring back what we want to. I can get the next layer and bring that back and then go to my contour, hide all contours and then bring back the ones I want to. And then our final one, we can bring that back, contour, hide all contours and then bring our text in. And then once we're happy, we're just going to attach those all together. So the area on the top of my present is about five inches. So I'm going to make the height five inches, but my wrapping paper needs to be a width of seven and a height of 11. In fact, I'll make the width eight, that to a white. And I'm also going to arrange and center back. I'm gonna bring my foil over. I'm gonna highlight both, align and center. So that's perfectly in the center. And then I can attach them together. So it will foil this but it will cut this out. Now with foiling there's a lot that you need to remember and we're going to go through that in a second. First we're going to go to make it. Now you do not want your tape or your foil going under your rollers. So you want to move them away from under your rollers. So I'm going to put mine here like that. We can then go to continue. But the foil system does work in the Explore model, so that includes the Airs as well. 
I'm going to browse all materials and I am going to search for copy and I can then select copy paper. So I'm using the foil pack so I've got the dual one which you can get in the UK and from the States I've got the ruby sampler and the metallic sampler but the metallic sampler we've got as individual gold and silver large and small packs. In each of the foil packs you also get the tape as well and the tape is appropriate to the size of pack so if you get a 12 by 12 pack you'll get tape for that and if it's a sampler pack you'll get tape for that as well. You need to think about obviously you don't want the tape or the foil going under the rollers but when you're taping your foil you also need to think about your design because you don't want the foil system going over your tape. I find the easiest way to do this is to remove the tape and then catch the foil first and then you can pull it nice and taut. And I'm going to show you in a second or once this layer is done how you can remove your tape and reduce the amount of pull up your tape takes from your material as well. So I grab the tape first and then I pull it nice and taut and you do want to make sure that they are nice and secured to your mat. So it's telling me I need my medium tip which is the one with two lines and I need to put my rose gold foil down. I've got my medium tip in there and I can then place it into my B clamp. You'll also see that it tells me what else is coming up. So silver foil with medium tick, aqua, red, emerald, and I'll need my fine point blade as well. So it's going to eject far enough without unloading is if you pull it right back on itself and then roll it off, because you're not pulling it, you're going to dramatically reduce the amount of product your tape brings up. And I find that this trick works really well for me. So I pull it back on itself and then just roll it away. I cannot reuse the area that's been foiled but the rest of it I can so if I wanted to do little accents on something I can use this again I just can't use the area where it's been foiled. So now we're going to add our emerald foil which is from the jewel sampler. And again I catch the foil first and then pull it nice and taut and add it.
Thank you all so much for joining me. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I've linked to everything in the description box. So I've linked to everything in the description box. They are affiliate links. They don't cost you any more, but I obviously get a small commission, which means I can do everything I do. But I never link to anything that I don't love, I don't use, I'm not willing to pay for. Because if I'm not willing to pay for it, then it's obviously not good enough, which means I'm not gonna recommend it to you. I've really enjoyed doing the wrapping paper this week. If you've not seen the other videos, go and watch them. It's just something fun and it's just something, you know, to make Christmas a little bit special this year. I think Christmas needs to be a bit more special this year. As always, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.